We are on to our 10th booster box of Sword and Shield. This one is for one Wally, 196. Now, my friend, you are a returning customer, so I want to say thank you very much again for purchasing from us again. We hope this box is just as good as all of the ones you have previously had from us. This is a no-codes, no-box booster box, so for all you other viewers out there, that means that one Wally will be receiving every card in this video apart from the commons, the uncommons, and the codes. In other words, they just get to keep all the best bits. And if you want your very own booster box from our store, we are still, still, as of the time of this video, the cheapest in the UK. So the website is underneath this video. Uh, we always say go to our Facebook for the best prices. And apart from that, we'll just jump right into the box. So the first reverse is Mud Bray and the first rare is Sandaconda. And I've just realised we don't have any codes to give away. Normally we'll pile of codes to my right hand side and we'll give away a code for every hit we get. So it's okay, I know what we're going to do. It means on the next box, so make sure you tune in for that one, we're going to give away two codes for every hit. And then when we change over from one half of the box to the next, we'll give away another two codes. So that's, there we go. See, I've managed to solve that problem just like that. That was good thinking. That was good thinking. So, what do you want to talk about today? How's your day been? Good. You had a good day? Yeah. yeah. I had a no busy day. I had a busy day. Car problems. That's what I had. I won't get into it. No. What I want to talk about is the... Uh, Ultra Battle League. Oh no, first off, before that, how did you get on with your eggs? Oh, that's right. Um, well, I wasn't as dedicated as you were, mm -hmm. let's put it like that. Yeah, I ended up hatching, I did count, around 50 odd 7 kilometer eggs. Uh, this was on Pokemon Go, in case you don't know. And there was a recent event in which, you know, if you walk 7 kilometers, you can hatch an egg. And in that egg, if you had, there was a 1 in 14 chance that you would get a Riolu. And then there was a 0.14% chance that that Riolu would be shiny. And of course you wanted the shiny. Yeah, of course. I mean, ooh, Galarian Perserker. Of course, I heard 0.14% and thought, well, surely that's, that's pretty much 100%, right? Well, enough dedication, <laughs> that's 100%. But no, I did not get it. I hatched, I don't know how many eggs, as I'm saying, 50 plus. Did not get any. I managed to get one shiny, which was a Badoo, which is okay, it's still a shiny. Uh, I do unfortunately already have a shiny Roserade, but swings and roundabouts in it. Kufont is the reverse, and the rare is. Ooh, Ooh. that's new. We've not seen that before. Yeah. We've got a full art team. Yell Grunt. We've so, had. This supporter, I don't know if we've spoken about this before, put an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon into their hand. That rings the bell. Have we not had yes, this? Yes, we have. As a rainbow rare. Yeah. So this is the first time seeing it in full art. Nice colours mm. on it. Nice colours. Yeah. I must admit, I do quite like Team Yell. Um, I suppose to like Team Rocket and Team whoever else we had. Team Galactic from the Sinnoh region. Diamond and Pearl, probably my favourite. Don't know why. Just, just they are. So tell me about this team, because I... Well, in each them. in each generation, there's a, a different kind of bad guy team. So the original, you'll have heard of Team Rocket, Jesse yes. and James. Um, ooh, Victini V is our second hit. Just the second pack, basically. Two in a row. Two for two. Let's try and get three for three. Uh, yeah, so you'll have heard Team Rocket, whatever else. So in every generation, there's been a, a team, an evil team, and they've got an evil plan. Mm -hmm. um, in Ruby and Sapphire, there was Team Aqua and Team Magma. Um, in Diamond and Pearl, with... Uh, Dialga and Palkia and such like, we had Team Galactic. And the reason I like Team Galactic is because during that time, the Pokemon cards, the sets, released different kind of Galactic Pokemon and Team Galactic cards. And I just quite liked that generation anyway, as far as the Pokemon went. Um, so that's why I quite liked it. Team Yep. Did I throw a card? No, I didn't. Um, Team Yell, however, they're just the ones from Sword and Shield. I uh, don't know much oh, about them because okay. I've not paid much attention to the story mode, if I'm being honest with you. Um, I've just kind of been playing through it as I go. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, it's Team Yell are um, more like supporters of one of the leaders. I could be butchering that description, but mm. that's my understanding. I'm not quite sure what their evil plan is yet, if there is any. Could be the first team that don't have an ultra big secret evil plan. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, that's them. Um, so, no shiny Riolu, unfortunately. But, I did get a lot of Riolus, 
and a lot of, well, I've got some gibbles and stuff like that. What so was the one that you had lots of in a row? Was it a man Manteen, man yeah. yeah. I mean, the evolution of Manteen is obviously man -tike, and man -tike does have a use in the Great Battle League, uh, but we have just left the Great Battle League. Oh, Cinderace. Scorbunny final evolution. I do like Cinderace, I must say. Maybe prefer that to Rillaboom. Oh, really? Maybe, yeah, the design okay. of Scorbunny's final evolution, yeah. Uh, I didn't spoil myself for what they were going to look like, so when I chose the starters, I chose obviously Grookey, and not knowing what they finally turned into. And when I seen Cinderace, I did kind of for a second think, yeah, it would have been a cool one to take if I got Scorbunny. Rilla Boom's cool too. He's got a drum set, for goodness sake. So, we've now got the Ultra Battle League in Pokemon Go. So, have you had a chance to play it at all? No. No, you've not played it at all? No. No. I've played a couple of games. Not too many sets, not too many. Um, it's good though, because it means that you've got a chance to use a bunch of different cards. Cards? Pokemon. Dreadnought is the reverse, and the rare is... Ooh! Ooh. Stone Journer V Full Art. Have we ever had a Stone Journer V Full Art? No. No, we have not. No. No, nope. we have not. No, we haven't. We've seen it before. There you go. As a V Max and as a, a V. We've uh -huh. had a few Vs. Yeah, okay. we've had four. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're very welcome. No, we've had a good two. <coughs> okay. Two. I like that one. It is pretty. Mm -hmm. like Some the of them have got nice, I was just about to say the colour contrast. Yeah, the quite background. nice. Uh, yeah, so Ultra Battle League, yeah, so it means that we're now using Pokemon that are CPs um, up to 2500. It was Great Battle League, it was only up to 1500. So at the moment, I am using for any of you who are interested, it's, I'm not quite finished with it yet, so just playing around with it. But I'm using a Giratina altered form. It seems that everybody is using some sort of Giratina. I'm using a Blaziken and I'm using a Lucario. However, I'm trying to change that up because a few games I'm going up against somebody using a Swampert and Swampert is super effective to two of my Pokemon out of my three. So it mm -hmm. uh, doesn't give me much room for counters if I see a Swampert. So I'm thinking about taking out a Lucario and putting it in a Togekiss. However, um, I do have a Togepi that would be very good as a Togekiss for Ultra Battle League, but it's going to cost something like... The dust I'm not fussed about because I finally, well, I'm just under 1 million. And I've never been close to a million before, so I like that. Um, so it's going to cost about 200,000. Ooh! 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 We've not had this guy before. No, we haven't. Here's me thinking we've had all the Vs, but yeah. we have not. Tapu Koko V. Did yeah. not know he was a V in this set. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Uh, let's have a look. 200 health, spike draw for a lightning energy, it does 20 and you draw two cards. And the other attack for two lightning and a colorless, it will do 200 damage. But during your next turn, this Pokemon cannot attack. It's okay. Thank you. I like the artwork. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I'm going with. And it's going to cost about 200 candy. But yeah. So any cards I won't see in this box, well, I wouldn't mind seeing more Snorlaxes because... Snorlax actually has a use in the Ultra Battle League, so it's made me kind of want to dig out a Snorlax that would be good for that league and power it up. Um, or, hey, where are you? <laughs> no, look at him, I'm just talking about you. I was kind of being more specific to seeing like a VMAX of you or something mm -hmm. like that, but I'll take that nonetheless. Uh, that's funny, that, isn't it? I know. that happened before, did it not? We were talking about a Pokemon and then we suddenly got it. I can't remember what. Um, yeah, so looking at Snorlax again. So that's, I wouldn't mind seeing more of them. Yourself? No, I'm, I'm always just, I'm always happy just to see what cards we get. Well, all of them? Yeah. I Even if mind. it's one which we've seen before? Yeah, don't oh, mind. Yeah. Don't mind. Very easy to please. I am. Hunter and Oranguru, that's a whole there. So we're down one half Thank the box you. so far, and we're at four hits. Not bad, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Not bad, though. Is our average still eight? I think it might be. It might be. Yeah. Let's do the average together. Oh, goodness. The viewers out there, you can take part in this as well. So let's just go through, add up the hits one by one. So okay, shout out, Okay, 7 uh -huh. plus 9. 16. Plus 9. It's 25. Plus 7. It's 32. Plus 7. It's 39. Plus 9. It's 48. Plus 9. It's 57. Plus 8. 65. Plus 8. It's 73. Divided by? 9. 73 divided by 9. Well, 72 divided by 9 is 8. 
So that'd be like 8.1 over 9, whatever that is. So 8.11111. So there we go then. That's the exact answer to that. Viewers out there, did you all get the same answer? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. You with your oh goodness, let me say it. Mathematical brain. Yeah, not as good as your literate brain. <laughs> but yes. 8.111. So we're over 8 hits per box. Mm -hmm. That's nuts. And this is our 10th box, so we've managed to sustain an average of at least 8 hits a box for yeah. 10 boxes in a row. That I is like insane. those average. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, your literate brain is just yeah. nailing it for you today. It's not working today. It's not working today, is it? It's taking no. a day off. Yeah, I had enough at work. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes, fair enough. That's understandable. So you two of us just pack our jobs in and do this full time. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Grookey as a reverse and a Snorlax. Oh, I like this. What Snorlax? Oh, no, I like the Grookey. I, I, like I, like, yeah, I like the Grookey. It's warming. I'm warming to it. You're warming to it? Yeah. Is Sobble still your favourite for the time being? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Good. I still like Grookey. You still like Grookey? I like them all to be honest. This might be the first generation. No, actually, I don't like Sobble. Never mind, scrap that. Yamper is the reverse. And the rare is a Keldeo V. Fifth hit, nice. It's a nice hit. Mm -hmm. You do like the Keldeo. Mm -hmm. Got a soft spot for Keldeo. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was about to say, this is the first generation where I've liked all three starter Pokemon. As I nudge the camera. Um, but that's a lie, I don't like Sobble. Well, however, when I first saw them, I just didn't, I didn't like any of them. Did you not? None no, of them. I was just like, uh, no. But now I'm seeing more of them. Yeah, um, yeah, I like them all. Yeah, I like them all. Yeah, okay. Like them all. So going from liking none to liking all. I think it just it's the same. It's like when something it's something new. It's like something new happens, and you're like, nah. But it warms on you. Okay. Just like these, these, these V oh, yeah. will warm. I will warm to them as well. Fingers crossed. Because we've got a lot more boxes to open. Only if the lovely viewers out there buy more boxes from us, however, if nobody. <gasps> Nobody saw it. It was off camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, if the lovely viewers out there don't buy any more boxes, then we don't open any more. Correct. So it goes. That would make us sad. Because we like opening them, don't we? We do. Yeah. More Pico is a rare. We love seeing the cards. I don't know if we've had him as a, a rare yet. Plenty of mm -hmm. VMAXs in these. Oh, my Pico. Yeah. Let me see. As far as just straight rares go, I don't know if we've had many. We've had three Vs. Three Vs? Mm. Three V Max it was. Mm. Wow. Oh. More Pico is maybe the most common. And one V. Verse is energy switch and the rare is a a new Ooh. one. It's a nice Lapras V Max. Mm -hmm. We were just saying we hadn't seen this one. You're right. You quite like the musical notes kind of thing happening here, yeah, don't you? Yeah, I'm still not convinced it's supposed to be musical notes, but No, no, it's probably not, but it does look like them and I'm inclined to go with that. So it's got three hundred and twenty health. And G-Max pumped, it's got 90 base damage, 3 colourless, and it will do 30 more damage for each water attached to this Pokemon. So if you had the bare minimum on there, all with water energies, that would be doing 180 damage. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Um, I don't. I have no idea, by the way, what the... It's been so long since we've been in this. Um, I have no idea what's being used at the moment, what popular decks are going. Last time we did it, it was there was Mewtwo and Mew was kind of the big thing going on. Is that right? I think it was. No, it was mm -hmm. Reshiram and Zekrom. Mm -hmm. That was the newest thing. Um, so I, I don't know if that is still the case. So I don't know how the cards from this set will impact the game. If they will kind of be, you know, useful in any of those decks. Or if they will indeed counter them. I don't know. You've got red in them, have you? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. So did you hatch any decent eggs? No, I don't think so. Oh, I got, um on my second account, I got a Chansey. Was that a Chansey? Oh, you got Happiny. Happiny, yeah. Happiny. Happiny. So, um, did you not get two? Mm, Zelia and no, Rillaboom. I don't think so. I think it was just one. And I um had very good IVs. Oh, did I know? Yeah, Oh, so oh yes, it did. It really was near perfect. About that. Yeah, so I was thinking, yep, that's one for evolving. That's one for sticking in gems. Oh, definitely. Definitely. We're coming up on the Valentine's event, actually. Okay. Featured that pack. Uh, yeah, 
Can I remember what it is though? No. I think there is a Alola Mola is a Pokemon that is appearing. Inteleon is a reverse and the rare is Durant. That's quite nice. So you've had Inteleon, Rillaboom and Cinderace in this box. So that's mm -hmm. quite nice. But yeah, um, I think it's Aloma Rola or something like that. I can't remember the pronunciation. And something else. But I can't remember either. I know that there's a raid weekend on Sunday. Between 2 and 5, there will be Licky Licky in 4 star raids. Really? Yep. And in 4 star raids? In 4 star raids, yeah. And uh, Chin okay. is reverse. And the rare is Cramorant. Yeah, in 4 star raids. And I think it will know Body Slam as a move, I think. And if you're lucky, it could be shiny. Are you interested? Me? Well, yeah. I don't really like the design of Licky Licky. Yeah. Neither do you. I know exactly. <laughs> Oh, well. A shiny is a shiny. Thing is, they do also give out, um, they're giving out five additional raid passes in addition to your daily one. So that's like six possible raids. Oh, Ooh, Zamazenta is our rare of the pack. Don't drop it. There we go. Zamazenta V. That's hit number seven. Mm -hmm. Nice. So we're almost close to that, uh, or sorry, we are close to that eight average. Okay. Let's try and get above eight. Because by definition, it either has to have every box landing on 8 or some boxes being over 8. An average yeah. of eight, so. Let's go for one that's above 8. We had 4 boxes so far that have been 9. 4 that have been 9? Nine. 9, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, well, if this is box number 10, then yeah, I would say so. Mm -hmm. We've opened 3 that were 7. 3 that were 7, okay. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, then with a couple that were just dead on eight, didn't yeah. they? So at the moment I need to give away and eat remember and do this next video. Um eight codes. Yeah, seven, one for each hit, then mm -hmm. change it over. Okay. Good, good. I suppose I'm just giving away double codes next time, right? Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Lots of codes. Drapion is a rare. Three packs to go. Surely we can get at least one more hit in these three packs. Just one more. Just one more. And if you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on Twitch, or ideally both. And uh, follow our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You've been updating your Instagram. I have. That's good. You've been keeping on top Love of that. It. Nice to see. And Twitter. So it's worth following them. You'll see everything that you're posting. Uh, Boltond is a rare. We see this in every oh, single box. We've seen a lot. And Yamper. Yep. <laughs> Yamper and Bolton. Second to last pack. Let's see if get something here. And of course, if you want your own booster box and feature in a video just like this, then head on over to our website. Link is underneath this video. Cheapest booster box in the United Kingdom. So jump on that. Get as many as you can. While stocks last, as they say. Yeah. Or whilst we're, we're opening. Yeah, yeah, whilst we're still doing it. Uh, reverse is Chin Chow. And the rare is Reggie Rock V. Rock. Yes, we did manage to get the eight. Hits one Wally 196. We got the eight hits for you, my friend. And this see. is our most popular card. Is it? Yeah. Most common one, yes. Common. Yes. Popular. Popular, maybe not the right word. Oh. People have, that would imply Five, everybody. Then. Oh, yeah, right enough. So this is our fifth. Yeah. So let's see if we can get a ninth hit. We did see a Lapras V, and we've seen Stone Journer full art, and we got Team Yell Grunt full art. So that's three cards we've not seen before, at least. So, I will say though, one Wally 196, because this video of course is for you, we do hope you enjoyed this video and we do hope you enjoyed this box. All these cards that you see in front of you on the mat will be heading to your address in the next couple of days. Blip Bug is the reverse and the final rare is Scent to Scorch. So we didn't get the ninth hit but we managed to get eight hits and that's pretty darn good if you say so myself. Let's just go quickly through them and we will get you on your day. So Reggie Rock V. Zamazenta, Lapras V Max, Keldeo, Tapu Koko, Stone Journer V Full Art, uh, Victini, and A Team Yell Grunt Full Art. Thank you everyone who watched this video. We do hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next one.